now we'll discuss about the motion of a satellite in elliptical path so up to now we discussed it uh, something like this whenever a satellite is revolving around the planet in a circular orbit but it is not necessary that always the satellite is going to move around the planet in a circular orbit it can move in elliptical path also like uh, just now we discussed that if a planet is moving in a circular orbit of radius let's say that is equal to r naught and take it as if this uh, planet is uh, moving with a velocity which is equal to nothing but its orbital velocity or if the satellite is moving with a velocity that is equal to orbital velocity and if the value of orbital velocity is exactly equal to a root of gm divided by r naught so whatever the value we calculated while considering it as circular orbit then exactly this satellite is going to move in a circular path so if you are keeping a satellite over here and at a distance r naught from the uh, center of planet and if satellite is projected with a velocity v naught uh, which is exactly perpendicular to this uh, radius vector then uh, and where the value of v naught is equal to orbital velocity or root of uh, gm by r naught then it will move in a circular path then only it will be able to move in a circular path now assume that if you are changing the value of its uh, uh, velocity so there are many conditions like assume that if you uh, reduce the value of its velocity so if you reduce the value of velocity uh, like uh, less than that of its orbital velocity then it will move in an elliptical path then it will not move in a circular path it will move in an elliptical path in such a way that for this ellipse we can say that it is having a major axis it is having minor axis and this will be one focus and this will be another focus so if the velocity so over here you can just consider that it is moving with the velocity which is less than orbital velocity then the uh, satellite is going to move in an elliptical orbit in such a way that this center of planet will be at the farthest focus now let's understand what do you mean by farthest focus and nearest focus for this elliptical path so this is the major axis and this is minor axis this is one focus and this is the other focus so with respect to this point where we are changed the value of its velocity with respect to this point this is a nearest focus and this is the farthest focus so once again uh, just try to remember what we are saying is when the velocity is less than orbital velocity it is going to move in an elliptical path in such a way that center of planet will be at the farthest focus with respect to this point again there is a possibility that if you are increasing the value of velocity more than orbital velocity so let's say if you projected with a velocity more than orbital velocity then also it will move in an elliptical path so if the velocity is more than as uh, more than orbital velocity then also it will move in an elliptical path let's say something like this for this elliptical path also we can draw a major axis and a minor axis and a focus so here you can observe that the center of uh, planet will be uh, at the nearest focus with respect to this point so we'll get a situation something like this if the velocity of a satellite is greater than that of orbital velocity so at the same time remember that it is less than escape velocity and we know that escape velocity is root 2 times of orbital velocity so this velocity is we can say that this velocity v is less than that of root 2 times of orbital velocity but it is uh, greater than that of orbital velocity then again it is going to move in an elliptical path in such a way that center of uh, this planet will be at the far nearest focus now again we can uh, like uh, observe what will happen if you are projecting an object with a velocity which is or a satellite with a velocity which is equal to escape velocity so we know that if you projected with a velocity which is equal to escape velocity it will move in a parabolic path and we know that if it is equal to escape velocity it will not come back to the uh, like uh, towards the gravitational field of uh, this planet it will be able to escape so it will be able to move in a parabolic path so remember that if it is equal to orbital velocity then it is going to move in a uh, circular path otherwise it is going to move in a parabolic path again uh, if you are increasing the value of velocity furthermore so if you are increasing the value of velocity if this velocity is more than escape velocity then it is going to move in a hyperbolic path then it will move in a hyperbolic path and again definitely if it is more than escape velocity it will be able to escape it will not uh, revolve around the planet again so once again just remember that if it is velocity is more than that of escape velocity 
the path we can take it as nothing but hyperbolic and if velocity is equal to in the situation velocity is equal to escape velocity then it is going to move in a parabolic path and if the velocity is uh, less than that of uh, 